y'all what's up it's alicia welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am going to be showing you guys how i do my slicked back low bun i have been getting lots of questions about how i do it how i get my hair so slick how i get it to lay so flat so that is what today's video is all about you guys may be surprised that this hairstyle is actually really 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 easy it may take like five to ten minutes depending on how fast i am moving but overall it's a pretty um straightforward and easy hairstyle so i really hope you guys enjoy today's tutorial and if you guys haven't already please go ahead and subscribe and let's go ahead and jump right into it all right y'all so i'm starting off on freshly washed hair literally just got done washing the deep conditioner out my hair and i think what i realized um, with doing this hairstyle multiple times is that i think the key with this hairstyle is to do this hairstyle on freshly washed hair because your hair is so much easier to manipulate it's just easier to lay down it's easier to slip down and it kind of sets in place whereas if you're doing this hairstyle like you know days after wash day your hair is a little bit more dry and it's just hard to like get it nice and flat. So yeah, this is what I am working with. And the first thing I'm going to do is apply some leave-in conditioner and some hair oil. For my leave-in conditioner, I'll be using the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Extra Moisture Detangler. And I like to apply a good amount like that, like that. And I'll just kind of rake it all in to my hair. And then next, I'm going to take the Meal Organics Mint Almond Oil and apply a little bit on top of the leave-in conditioner. Took a little bit, rub that in, and apply it over the leave-in conditioner. And this helps to seal in all that moisture. And last but not least, I'm going to apply some cream. I'll be using the um, Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Style Milk. So as y'all can see, I'm doing the lock method, leave-in oil and a cream just to make sure my hair is really, really moisturized. So we got our cream, our curl milk, and I supply that on top. And I'm also raking everything in. So now that I have my hair moisturized, I'm going to move on to creating my part. Of course, the part totally depends on you, but for me, I'm going to do a middle part. And I'll be using this black rat tail comb just to make sure my part is even. All right, so we have our middle parts. Got that going on. Next, I'm gonna take my water bottle and just spray my hair one more time. And make sure I kind of work that water into my hair. On to the fun part which is actually slicking back our hair and putting our hair into a ponytail so what I use to slick down my hair is the um, wet line extreme gel so what I'll do is I'll take a pretty huge glob of gel and just start placing it all over my hair and I do add gel as I go so that isn't even how much I use I just keep adding as I'm going and I just keep applying the gel all over. And you have to make sure you apply gel to both sides of your hair. Now I'm going to take my handy dandy dimming brush and just start brushing my hair into a ponytail.
All right, so here is our ponytail. This part looks a little bit crazy, but as you guys can see, my hair is nice and sleek. Now for this hair right here, I'm just going to put it into a just mini bun. Twist it. And just put it into a bun. Like that. The hair that I use to create my faux bun is the um, Free Tress Bohemian braid hair. So I had some leftover hair um, from whenever I did my passion twist. So I've been using this hair to help create a larger bun in the back for me. So I have this here. This is how it looks up close. I don't use a whole lot of hair for my um, for my buns. I'll take maybe, let's see. I kind of just eyeball it. Right here I have about like 10 to 12 strands and I'm holding it right here in the middle because I'm going to add a hair tie to it. Put the hair tie smack dab in the middle like you guys see here. And then to create kind of like a ponytail, you pull one part of the hair tie through. So whenever I do that, it creates the ponytail. So once I do that, I kind of just work my fingers through and I start to separate the strands just to make this ponytail much fuller. And this may take like a minute or two, but it is definitely worth it to put in the effort to um, stretch the hair some and to fluff the hair some. Alright, so this is how our ponytail is looking. I think we're good for now to go ahead and add it and create our bun. So what I do here is I take the ponytail part and I hook it on to my bun. And all I do now is just twist the faux hair into a bun, but I want to make sure I cover up my little mini bun in the process. So I kind of like to fluff it out some. And while I'm creating the bun, I will just make sure it's covering my mini bun. All right, y'all, so that's my little bun. <laughs> I love it. And I do like to go in and slick my edges even more. So I will take my toothbrush and a little bit more of the gel. I'm just using the gel from the lid. And I will just go in and kind of maneuver these bad boys to look exactly how I would want for them to look. All right, we're good. We got the edges together. The sideburns are together. I feel like that's kind of what pulls the whole look together is making sure your edges are like laid and you know how you want them to be. So I don't do too much crazy stuff. So this is about as much as you guys will get. And so I'm going to apply my scarf and I'll just put it on top of my edges and also my hair. Um, just to make sure everything sets super duper flat, super flat. I feel like this really helps to set the whole um, hairstyle off because it really does keep my hair nice and flat. If I let it set for, you know, five to 10 minutes, I'm good for the week, honestly. <laughs> I took my scarf off after letting it sit for about 10 minutes or so, and these are my results. 
everything is laying really, really flat and sleek. I love the end results every single time. My edges are together. Like everything is just laid, y'all. <laughs> everything is laid and my hair still feels super soft and moisturized. My bun back here is still going strong. So y'all can see that. I can typically get this hairstyle to last for like four to five days and I don't really have to do much during the week to um, to keep my hair in place and you know keep it looking like this so it's very low maintenance it takes hardly any work at all and it is such a great protective hairstyle so I love it y'all y'all can't tell <laughs> I'm really really feeling it so yeah y'all this is the result I love, love, love how my hair looks and I hope you guys do too as well. If you guys did enjoy today's tutorial, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And as always, I love y'all. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.